that everything was great. I was asked about the next project. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing an NFT collection. Yeah. Thank you for everything, Carla. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Tonight was a great night. Yeah, it was. What's on your mind? How nice it is to be home. And it's hot in here. Can you turn the fire down a bit? Well, if it's hot, you can always take off your clothes. So what are your thoughts about moving back? To Toledo? Yeah. I mean, you can work from anywhere at this point. True. LA's not home. Plus, the girls would be able to be around their grandparents. God knows we could use the help. You're serious? Just think about it. I met some critics tonight. They were impressed. Yeah, I talked to a couple of them myself. Anything of value? I wouldn't say of value. There was one lady who had a lot to say, though. And? <clears throat> Mr. Hobbs, this exhibition is groundbreaking. It's political, yet accessible. Your mixture of design elements and art, which I believed would destroy the flow, actually worked. Your concept of juxtaposing audio elements with each piece was unexpected, yet thoroughly successful, and made your ideas about difference masterful. That's great. Um, are you gonna read the reviews? Hell no. Why not? Critics are artists that never made it. Uh, she said it was masterful. And political. You say that as if it's a bad thing, but it's not. Wrong. Wrong how? I had no political agenda. Bullshit. No shit. Okay, Kahanda Wiley. <laughs> then what was the show about? Contrast. And, and what makes it visible? Uh, whatever. Um, uh, what do you want from Ray's? Uh, a pepperoni pizza. A pepperoni pizza. What? That's the kind of pizza I like from Ray's. What kind of crust? Regular. Tossed with garlic butter. We're getting thin. Well, then why even ask me? Yeah, hi. It's gonna be for delivery. The River House, 131. Yeah, I'll take a large pepperoni pizza. Egg? Uh, thin crust. Yeah, it's gonna be cash. 
All right, great, thanks. Megan? What? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. We were having a conversation and you get pissy about my choice in pizza toppings? Leave it alone, Reggie. figured it out. And that would be? You're jealous. Jealous? Of course. Why else would you be fighting with me when we should be celebrating? I'm thinking we should be getting it on. Sex? Well, yeah. Look, I'm not jealous. And I'm not trying to fight with you. I'm actually really proud of you. So what's wrong with you then? Was it my speech? I thanked you in the speech. As a matter of fact, I saved the best for last and spoke about you the longest. Yeah? about being the mother of your children, and being there for you, but not actual credit. What the hell is that supposed to mean, Megan? Nothing. Pray, forget I even said the- No, it's something. What is it? You know, I actually thought this time was gonna be different. <laughs> All right, let's go. The kids aren't here. You don't wanna do this. Yes, I do. Let's lay our cards on the table. Hi, baby. How are you? Good, but Riley keeps pinching me, though. Let me see Riley. Hi, sweetie. Be nice to your sister, okay? Yeah, no pinching. Okay, we're sad. Hi, baby. Where are you coming home? We'll be back tomorrow. You being good? Yeah. Okay. Daddy loves you. Okay, love you. We'll see you tomorrow, all right? Love you. Tell me, what was wrong with the speech? I said thank you to my loving wife who kept me grounded and inspired me over the years. Thank you for giving me two beautiful girls. Thank you for loving you and you didn't actually love yourself. Yeah, I know the rest of the speech you stole from a Tyler Perry movie. I want my credit. Real credit. The kind that you give cards. You didn't do anything! I'm trying to celebrate. You know, you have never given me credit for any of my ideas. I have ran galleries, planned shows bigger than this one. Carla is my business partner. She planned the entire event. Therefore, she gets credit for said event. What's your problem with that? She's a phony. You never wanted me to get this far, did you? Are you really trying to play victim here? Hey, Carla, what's up? Hi. Oh, hey, Here you go. Keep the change. Thank you. Careful, it's hot. Great, thanks. Have a good night. You too. That's great. Thank you. What? It's sold. Which one? The whole show. Oh, really? How much? $700,000. I thought you wanted $1.5 million. 
What? Okay, you said, and I quote, the whole show should go for about $2 million, but I'd be happy with $1.5 million, end quote. Why do you insist on shitting on the best night of my life? This is the best day of your life. 700,000. Our wedding day. The days the girls were born. Do you have any idea what this means? She jumped on the first offer. You just hate Carla. You ain't wrong. But you sold 25 paintings and the rights to that music for $700,000. Do the math. So what? You think you could have done better? I know I would have done better. And best of all, I would be looking out for your best interest. Not to make a quick buck. What's wrong with a quick buck? I want to be rich now, not when I'm dead. Do you remember the first painting you gave me? Yeah, wasted time. What about it? So I hung it at the office in the gallery at Dayton. And over time, people were offering me money for it. I wouldn't sell it because it has been little value to me. How much? It doesn't matter now. Yes, it does. You say Carla undersold me, right? How much? The highest offer that I got, $125,000. And you didn't sell it? Of course not! It was the best painting you've ever done, and it was for me. You know what's funny? What's that? I know about you and Carla. No. You don't have to say anything, but know that I know. I'm going to take a bath and go to bed. But just answer me this one question. Do you really think that you and Carla could come up with this masterful plan if I wouldn't have mentioned it to you both two years ago? No. Hmm. Guess I did do something then. Thank you.